Hello folks, welcome to the dungeon. This is my office in the corner of the basement. And um, this is not where I actually image from, by the way. I have another desk upstairs, but this is where I can come down and get some peace and quiet because it's kind of spooky, dark, and cold down here. Nobody else likes to come down here, so this is my spot. <laughs> and I wanted to make this video today because a lot of people keep asking me, even today, what filters I use. And I wanted to let people know in advance, I am planning to make a change by the end of January when I start doing broadband again. And um, in the past, I've, I've used my Astronomic RGB um, and an Astronomic CLS filter as my luminance. But my friend Jason's been on my case for a long time, and he said that that CLS is really removing too much of the spectrum. You're, you're missing your orange and your yellows. And and you know what? He was right. I went back to look at my galaxies like M81 and it, it just didn't have the natural looking colors. I couldn't really get that orange and yellow. I mean, he hit it on the head. So I'm willing to, and he suggested maybe there's Itis um, or the Optolong L Pro. I've never tried Itis before, but I already had a two-inch Optolong L Pro that I used with my one-shot color camera. But I don't want to use a two-inch filter now because I don't want anything in front of my astronomic RGB filters. But I'm willing to try this 1.25-inch L Pro to see uh, how it works. Um, if it works, that's great. But if you know, letting in too much, uh, letting in orange and yellow, you're you're letting in more of the spectrum and my ADU is naturally going to go higher. And in my severely light polluted area, um, can I handle it? I'm only 20 minutes from downtown Detroit, uh, 20 minutes from Detroit Metro Airport in the other direction. Um, I don't know. Um, if it doesn't work out, I, I might be stuck going back to the CLS filter. We'll see. But like I said, I just wanted to let people know in advance that that's my plan for the future. I still got some narrowband time left to do before those objects are gone, so I'm going to stick with that. And, you know, um, <laughs> trying new filters is not something that's new to me. Um, I got a shoebox full of, of other filters, and I've even let some out. Uh, Pete, if you ever upgrade your filters, I want my old ones back. But um, that's all I got. I'm standing instead of sitting so people can't see how fat I am. I've put on about 10 more pounds over the past year. Uh, I did this in one take. Can you believe it? I didn't screw it up. But that's all I've got to share. Uh, I think this is my last video for the year because the weather now looks terrible. I'm not going to be able to finish anything for 2018. So uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I'll see you in 2019. Signing out.